They call me Mad Jack. And if there's anybody in these mountains that knows the real story of James Adams, that'd be me. So I'm putting it down in writing just the way it happened in hopes of setting the record straight. Now, my friend Adams was accused of a crime he didn't commit. So he escaped into the mountains, leaving behind the only life that he ever knew. Now, that wilderness out there ain't no place for a greenhorn, and his chances of surviving were mighty slim. were no time at all, for he was beaten down, ragged, and nearly stalled. Long about then, he come upon a grizzly bear cub, all alone and helpless. Now, Adams knew that little critter couldn't survive without his help, so he started right down that cliff, risking his own life to save him. <laughs> now that cub took to Adam's right off. And that was when he discovered he had a special kind of way with animals. They just come right up to him like he was a natural part of the wilderness. But that bear cub, he was extra special. As he growed, he became the best friend Adam's ever had, and together they became a legend. Amen. There's a world. sure does have a beauty to it. Not just the kind you see, but the kind you can hear, too. If you listen, there's lots of sounds. The natural sounds our maker intended us to hear. Like the spring wind kind of sliding across the top of the pine. And the water tumbling down to the valley. There's a sound will put a tired body to sleep faster than you can say goodnight. Of course, all the critters on the ground and in the air want to be heard, too. Even those that don't have much of a voice. Wow. Every one of them makes a sound of one sort or another. When you put all them sounds together, it's sort of like music. Nature's music, you might say. Played on nature's instruments. <laughs> A pure delight. Except that one of them instruments tried to drive me plumb crazy. Now, Ben, you've had your flapjacks. You also had half of mine. I must be touched in the head cooking flapjacks for a grizzly bear when I should have been traveling. We are kind of hoping you'd stay more than a couple days. Well, I might have. Except you seem to prefer the company of a gold darn noise-making hawk instead of me. Since you won't run him off, I got no choice but to go. you will have a family of his own soon. Why don't you just have a little respect? Yeah. Let him respect my ears. Go on, get out of here. At least wait till I'm gone. You know, that river's pretty high for rafting. Be a lot safer if you forded it. Well, the nearest ford's ten miles upstream and a day out of my way. Them falls are less than a mile downstream. Yeah, well, it might be a little dangerous for a greenhorn to ford the river this time of year. But I ain't no greenhorn. Not like some folks I know. Besides, I got my prayer bag. And the Crow Medicine Man would give it to me, guaranteed it to ward off all sorts of evil spirits and keep them away. And everything else by the smell of it. Well, I don't mind it a bit. It's good medicine. Come on, number seven. Well, we'll be seeing you, Adam. Bye, Jack. You be careful now. Different. 
river sounds louder than it has been. Warm breezes must be melting a lot of snow. Would you look at that? My ears didn't lie to me. Well, it is a little higher than I expected. But that could be too much trouble for a couple of old mountain men like you and me, huh? <laughs> Oh, now, just step nice and easy. Boy, you... Can't take it! Summer, come on! I swear, you're the most stubborn crater I've ever known. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put a harness hitch in this here line. Then you and me are gonna get aboard. And I'm gonna jerk it loose and pull us across to the other side, and we're gonna be on our way. And no argument, one way or another. Now, I told you the plan, so let's go. Come on. Come on, Jack. I swear you'd try the patience of a thing. Now, come on! Jack. Come on, Ben. We gotta find him. Jack! Jack's moccasin. What's that, Ben? Let me see it. Oh, that's Jack's. That's his prayer sack. He'd never give it up if he's alive, Ben. Come on, Ben. Mm -hmm. 